Hey guys, welcome to week six of the Temperature Blanket Crochet Along. So for February 5th, we're gonna be doing a single crochet. So we're using the color orange today and I'm just gonna yarn over. Then we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two to complete a single crochet. And we're just gonna do this all the way across our project. So I'm actually only gonna be placing single crochets in top of the shell, shell stitches. I'm not gonna be placing a single crochet in the chain one space between the shells. This is just to keep a consistent 300 stitches so we don't have any kind of wonky edges. So you're only gonna wanna place the single crochets in the shell stitches. And this is what the stitch will look like when you're finished. Moving on to February 6th, we're gonna be doing a cross stitch single crochet. So I'm adding in the color dark olive and we're gonna go ahead and chain one and then turn our work. Now we're gonna insert our hook and instead of yarning over like you typically would with a single crochet, we're gonna yarn under and pull up the loop and then we're gonna yarn over like normal and then pull through two loops. And this kind of just creates a different looking single crochet stitch. So again, make sure you're yarning under for the first stitch and then yarning over for the second. And we're just gonna repeat this all the way across the piece. And this is what it should look like. The front looks kind of the same, but the back you can see a different texture. Moving on to February 7th, we're gonna be doing another cross stitch single crochet. So I'm using the color orange today and we're gonna uh, chain one and then turn our work. And I'm just gonna go into that very first stitch and again, we're gonna yarn under, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two. And again, we're just gonna repeat this same stitch all the way across until we get to the end with our 300 stitches. And once you're finished, this is what it should look like. Sorry, this clip is so dark for some reason, but uh, yeah, this is what your stitch will look like once you finish the row. Moving on to February 8th, we're just gonna keep it simple with a double crochet to kind of create a foundation for the next stitch. So again, we're using orange and I'm gonna start off by chaining two. And then we're gonna turn our work And you're just gonna yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. And that completes your double crochet. And we're just gonna place a double crochet in every single stitch all the way across until we have our 300 stitches. And this is what your row will look like when you're all finished. Moving on to February 9th, we're gonna be doing the Celtic weave stitch, which I think is a really fun stitch. So we're adding in the color mango today, new color, cause it's warm out. And we're gonna go ahead and chain three and then turn our work. So now for this stitch, we're gonna be doing treble crochets in the back post of the previous row. So you're gonna to wanna to yarn over twice and then we're gonna skip two of the double crochets from the previous row and we're gonna go behind the third double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two for a treble crochet and then we're gonna yarn over again and we're gonna go behind the fourth 
double crochet of the previous row and we're going to place another treble crochet and then to get that celtic weave look we're actually going to go back to the previous uh, stitches that we skipped so again yarn over and insert your hook behind that second stitch that we skipped and place a treble crochet And then we're going to yarn over again and we're going to go behind the first stitch that we skipped and we're going to place a, another treble crochet. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys that again because I know it can be a little bit weird of a stitch. So again we're just gonna yarn over twice and then we're gonna skip two of those double crochets behind the third one we're gonna place our hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two <laughs> and then we're gonna go behind the fourth double crochet and place a another treble crochet so you should have skipped two double crochets and then crocheted behind two of the other ones and I'm gonna go back behind the first stitch that we skipped and place a treble crochet there and then we're gonna go and place a treble crochet behind the second double crochet that we skipped and this will kind of cross the two treble crochets And as you can see that little crisscross pattern, but this is what the stitch looks like when you're all finished. I think it looks pretty cool. Sorry for the sun being a little weird in this shot, but that's the Celtic stitch. Moving on to February 10th, we're gonna be doing a double crochet and chain stitch. So I'm adding in the color ivory today, a bit cooler. And we're gonna start by chaining four. And then we're turning our work. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start off by yarning over for my double crochet. And we're gonna actually skip a stitch and in the next stitch we're gonna place our double crochet. So just yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and place a double crochet into the following stitch. And we're just repeating the same pattern all the way across our work. So just double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. And then this is what it'll look like when we're all finished. It kind of creates um, an interesting like squared spacing kind of effect. So. That's what it looks like when you're finished with the row. And now moving on to February 11th, we're gonna be repeating the same stitch of double crochets and chains. So I'm using the color white again today and we're gonna start off with just chaining four. And then turning your work. And then we're yarning over it and we're going to place our first double crochet into the double crochet stitch of the previous row. So we're skipping the chain one space and just placing a double crochet. And then you're going to chain one and again skip the chain one space and put your double crochet in the double crochet space. And then this is what the stitch looks like when you're finished with that row. I think it creates kind of a cool like squared effect with negative space. But that's all for this week. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.